Hello, 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 Rose's Melody here, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. I'm not gonna waste your time here. Again, we have a world to save. So we go to Sky Tower Summit. Full of even more jerks. Though I believe actually there's much fewer ghosts now, which is a nice change. You know what? You take care of it. Claire? That works. I could have done that myself. It was actually funny. I was editing together the last episode, and I actually... I, I decided I wasn't going to do these nine floors because, you know, they'll take some time, and I was figuring on top of the other 25 floors... Wouldn't you know it, that's the run I happen to be able to get through 25 floors in 15 minutes. As opposed to the 30, 40 minutes the 25 floors had been taking me in runs 1 and 2. I think it's because I, I got a lot luckier with the stairs, and I think there was a clay doll just going by, but I'm just going to ignore it. There's a lot of dragon-like things up here. I actually have to be careful not to use all my double slaps. Nope, not there. And I really like I really like the music in this part of the dungeon also, I must say. It reminds me of something I'd hear in Okami actually. This is going to end poorly. Yes, I know. Please die. Thank you. Yep, that's a play doll. There we go. I'm assuming that the stairs are possibly down here. I'm actually going to swap the tackle. I'm using an awful lot of my double slaps and I want to have those available. Great. Really, Tropius? You barely did anything to me. Okay, the stairs are, of course, in the last place. I, I forgot that thing could float. Oh, okay. Hey, I have my reviver seeds at least this time. But I'm gonna eat a berry before I die. Because I like not dying! Imagine that. There we go. That makes life a little easier. Why did you use, like, the worst? And this is why I need to shove... In fact, I'm going to take this, this opportunity to shove more gummies down to Claire's throat. Dodger, that's a nice one. I'm gonna give him that one. Type advantagement. Alright, let's see what these new ones do. Actually, I think I have Quick Dodger on my own and I never actually... Seriously? I never turned that on? Ah, Type Advantage Master and Quick Dodger are what are known as exclusive moves. I would rather have Quick Dodger on both of us. Why didn't I turn that on? Oh my gosh. That might have saved my life in one of the... Oh, I'm an idiot. Anyway. Aerodactyl. But as you can see, the dungeon basically looks the same. Ooh, shiny. And another petrol scarf. I'm getting a lot of those all of a sudden, and they are probably all going to either rot in my store. I'll probably have two of them rot in my storage and sell the rest. Alright, there's that. Floor five. Ow. I 
can't believe I forgot to turn that on. Oh, level 29 for Eclair, hooray! So to be fair, most people I see going through this part of this, this dungeon are going through it in their 30s, so I'm less than level 30, so I think I'm doing quite well. It's a little painful, but it works. Yay, money! We have no shortage of money right now. Up we go. Floor six. I can't remember what rainy day does, which is probably really terrible of me. I think at least in part, it reduces the effectiveness of fire type moves. Which means I want to get out of the rain. So we're going to do that. Floor seven. Now, I'm actually going to take a moment to talk about some plot developments that have been going on. Namely, in this case, the teleport gem. Alakazam! and Zatu stated they had help from a ghost-type Pokemon in creating this. I'm pretty sure we both know who this... Ow! Who this ghost-type was. At least, I personally think it was Gengar. Why would they trust Gengar for anything? I'm serious here. Actually, I think I want to move so a Claire can hopefully. Would you use Flame Wheel? I'll take that. You know what? I'll take that. And you see, even with the super effective attack, a Claire still didn't do that much damage to it, but it was faster than I was doing it. But anyway, I just, and also, while I really do enjoy the story of this, wow, real tough map there, Mystery Dungeon, real tough map. It's a straight line. Anyway, Flory, I really like the story of this game, I do. But the meteor thing strikes me as very much basically out of nowhere. Like, it just seems like there's no indication this meteor... Nuts. Why did I do that? And I can't actually help. Well, actually, I could if, I, if I'm willing to throw a rock, but... Claire has this in hand, I think. Yes, I totally did just sit there and pass turns. But anyway, it just kind of strikes me as very space flea from nowhere-ish. Like... Great. Time for a box! well. I mean, it does make a decent ending. I'm going to actually check my PP. Um, I'm going to use that max elixir on myself. Actually, yeah. Up we go. Floor 9. Uh, and this is the top of Sky Tower. We do? I hope so, that's who we're here to see. We can't. Wait! 
what? <laughs> Just never. Okay, you're not even gonna hear us out? Yes, but we're trying to keep the keep both of them from being destroyed, so We're not asking you to. Honestly, this in character, I don't know much. But I know this. I am sick and freaking tired of no one actually freaking listening to me. I'm tired of having to beat the lights out of people before they will even give me a fair hearing. It's not that hard. I mean, granted, I could, I can cut some allowance for the fact that, okay, there's these natural disasters and everything going on, but for the love of Arceus, Rayquaza, Look up! That being said, I... This... This is boss music. This is how you do boss music. This might be cheap of me. I will admit it. This might be... <sighs> now, will you look up? Oops. Yeah! Yeah, they are! Yeah! They are! Look. Up! It's a meteor, what we were trying to tell you! Don't you wish you'd listened to us in the first place now? What? Yeah, and it might not have done that if you'd listened to us. That's okay. Yeah, we always knew there was a chance we wouldn't come back.
I see what he me meant when we said we wouldn't escape unscathed. But that's okay. Just a hyper beam. And we can do nothing. I could tell you what it is, but you're not gonna like it. It's a little worse than that. Bye, Gengar. Thanks. And I think he did it in the only way he could allow himself to. He couldn't let himself admit he was helping us. We are! <laughs> I feel like I took a hyperbeam to the face. I had me worried! <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you, Zatu. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Truly. It did! Better than I could have imagined. The world looks beautiful when it's not at risk, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys 
those are all jerks. <laughs> Wait, what? Thank you. You're welcome. And now, my role is ended. everything all this time. My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. I don't have a choice. like I want to. Why do you think this is so hard? We are friends. We'll always be friends. They won't forget you. How could I?
So do I. strongly. Perhaps we will meet again. Well guys, that was the main story of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I promise I'm okay. I just, I get very into this thing. And I am a huge crybaby. I will admit it so much. I mean, what's life worth if you don't let yourself feel? I I honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I really do. Cuz I enjoyed I enjoyed showing it to you. Just recording these videos, it's been a lot of fun for me. I've made some missteps here and there. I've had some frustrations, like Sky Tower, basically. But all in all, I have to say, I'm happy with what I've done. I'm happy with what I've shown. So, yeah. I honestly think this is a good game that I think everyone should play should they get the chance. It's a little harder to find now. Uh, it can get pretty expensive on Amazon, which is where I've been looking for it. Or at least looking at it. But it's a lot of fun, and hey, if you have a 3DS, you can play it on that too. Or a Game Boy Advance. I think actually the GBA version is more expensive. But anyway, I just, I really like what they do in these stories. And I like how it's not your standard Pokemon game. I like how it's just, it's different, it's fun, and the story, and I'm rambling. I really am. But I guess now's a good time to cover. I am going to be doing, there is a post game to this game, and I do plan on covering it. I'm probably not going to be sitting there talking through the dungeons like I was before, but I do plan on covering the post game. So, I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable... Irreplaceable friend. The story of Mel and Claire ends here. But Helios isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away. And that's my message for you. Don't go away. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys again. Bye!